Hello, welcome to the Whiskey and Place by Cooper Free. Hope you enjoy. Starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pump. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. All right, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. Oh, come on. Agent Hartbrook, take up position for a Yank 86. Over. I've got a visual. The ball has stopped rolling. We've got an obstruction. I'm on it. First is away. Second guy is pulled. door via Agent Monarch. Over. Launching and clear. Of course. I've got visual confirmation on the door. I shoot it. Be advised, Paul is nearing the lab. Agent Deep Six, you ready? Spear gun loaded. How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh, very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And your son, uh, what's his name? Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too. Yeah. Shame you won't be seeing them again. Oh, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die. Any second now. Oh. 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 Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, then get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. The Cooper Vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot hall. Over. Be sly, 
Hi, Cooper, the new keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes the key to the vault. Hand over that key. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. Our treasure is mine! It's mine! Jump for it! Let's go! This place is flooding! We don't have much time! The tunnel's gonna go! Hurry! It came from my childhood. The boat's just up ahead. There's no escape, Kuba. I'm getting squished. The Cooper treasure is mine. It's mine. <laughs> It was like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. 
finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy. But to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. If we're gonna make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, Classic. they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I'm projecting. Great, now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence. I've programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool but perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. All right, Bentley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Nice, one down. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. That book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja fire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Okay, Bentley. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you? about tight spaces. Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. Yeah, let us begin. 
Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Bolivia! Wait! Rat me out to those cops and I'll get thrown in there with you. 
It'll be a heck of a cage match, and we both know who will win. Or did you forget Paris? <sighs> Worth it to see your smug face behind the bars. Where's that generous nature you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man. Big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I control the beat on this track. You're just the fencer. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? <clears throat> you might get this cell door open, but the cops will throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief! Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms, we'll suit up, and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man. I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. How about I get the cops attention, then run for it. Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cop lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, police. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get out there and keep your eyes open. I've hired you mercenaries over traditional costs because this is a dangerous assignment. The neighborhood is filled with the Octavio goons. It's a war out there. Get tough or you won't last five minutes. You hear me? I'm paying for results. The city of Venice needs this situation resolved now. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. This is sucking. You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. <laughs> really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself, Leon. Brother, on, off, on, off. There be light. I can see, da! I can see!
You look a lot better in the dark, Petrov. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> it's dark. Dark like the grave. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear, you spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump. I'll do like I promised, and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway, I'll password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper, grab him then. And I'm out. Got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So far, uh -huh. what happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. <laughs> Back to the game. Man will works both ways. That's right. Hide in the sewers like the rat you are. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real spirit quest here! Sorry. Sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well... It's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's car problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected, as non-law operatives will be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be 
be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. No. Back in a minute.
I'm back. I got some tea and water. Take him? No, we need evidence that he's behind this city's tar epidemic. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help the cops prosecute him and put an end to this nonsense. Never thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. <laughs> yeah, well, she's different. Your average law enforcer isn't that, uh, I don't know, attractive. It's Hold back here it comes. It's despicable. Get a picture before he finishes. This is perfect. Use your binocular cop to take photos. Uh.
He seems to be working a switch, but there's no tar anywhere. Yet. Get a photo anyway. He's doing something, but what? I I can't believe it! He flooded that aquarium with tar! All those poor dead fish! As much as I hate to see what heinous crime this fiend will do next, you should probably keep on his tail. Someday the people will know the truth due to your pictures. Hey, Samir, get that engineer on the horn. Sly, see if you can latch on to the car Octavio is riding in. We should eavesdrop on his phone conversation. From the look on his face, it seems important. <laughs> This energy of mine, this Ferris wheel, was a good idea. She's a puff on the tar fast. Nobody, but nobody suspects a thing. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Well, when the people come to see me sing, I wanna make a show. They keep a coming. Even if they don't think it like it. One way or the other, there'll be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, Cecil. That fiend! He's twisted a time modern amusement park ride into a tool for wrongdoing. Break open the control panel with your cane. I'm on my way to do a little rewiring. <laughs> Look away if you must. You're about to witness the dark side of electrical engineering. Kill a bunch of poor innocent fish, will he? That'll do it.
Nice place. Sure to be a few coins laying around in there. What's the plan? If you could get me inside to one of Octavio's computers, I should be able to hack his firewall and get the dirt on his operation. Okay. Have you got a point of entry? I'm guessing the front door's not the safest option. That wooden hatch appears to be an ideal way to slip in undetected. Head down there and we'll meet up in a few minutes. They're back, interest. Interest. They're back, door. Octavio is known to rely on 3D technology to secure his property. In order to see the security measures, we'll need to utilize these depth optimizer goggles. Functional and fashionable. Nice touch, Bentley. To open this door, we'll need to press the 3D security buttons at exactly the same time. Okay? On my three. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Nice. Synchronized security system. Let's do it. One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Drat, my booster won't be enough to make it to that next door. I've made a number of improvements to my wheelchair, but none that can float me through this canal. Don't worry about it, pal. I'm sure I'll find a way across. And there seem to be plenty of boats hanging around to make a nice bridge for you. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. Thanks for the assist, Sly. Maybe I can return the favor 
with some well-placed explosives. Okay, stand back. Thanks, pal. Playing some Slack Cooper free on Twitch. I hope I can reach or not. Hmm, this door is made of four inch thick bulletproof plexiglass. My bombs won't make a dent. See if you can find a way around it through that ventilation shaft. Well, nice of you two to stop by for a little fatherly advice. Julius made a run for it and uh, the curtain. Now, normally I'd whack a boat, yes. But it's a carnival and I'm a feeling charitable. So I think of something else. Okay, here's the deal. You two stoolies are gonna be in my new eyes and ears. I can't let no one get near my demolition switch or sabotage any part of the operation down here. If you hear any noise from inside of the family that someone's uh, not content, then you tell me straight out. I can't be taking no chances this close to a short time. Got it. from the security we must be getting close it's live And one, two, three. Oops. One more try. One, two, three. On three. One, two, three. We're in. Yes, a Wurlitzer 700. I can splice into this easy. Just as long as you're enjoying yourself. That's the important thing. Aside from a few tense moments, that break-in seemed to go pretty well. <laughs> 
It's not over yet. Hack the system and let's get out of here. Oh, it'll be a snap extracting the details on Octavio's operation from this old dinosaur. Wh what? A delay switch? Sorry, Sly. Guess the dinosaur has teeth. I'll hack as fast as I can. Watch my back. There are sure to be guards on the way. He told us! He told us! He told us! Halfway there! I've almost got it. They told us. So close. Download complete. Now we can find out exactly what Octavio is up to. Sly, you better get over here. My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hot-wired by the time I get there. <laughs> Let's see. Just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazam! Just in time. There go the Vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. This canal is packed with shipping. Make sure to jump and weave or we're sunk. Let's take these guys out. Sorry, Sly. My gun overheated. Yes, I should use short bursts.
to go. That's the end of the Blue Viper. Another uneventful patrol. This city's beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That, and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look, I'll stash this boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. So, according to these decrypted files, Octavio is pumping far from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincenetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. Given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs. Bentley, looks like you found one of Octavio's Vincenetti goons. You on your way to the police station for the old bait and switch? Yeah, he's following me. They're too close for comfort. You gotta move! Now to get those mercenary apes involved. Hey, uh, all you big ducks, go home. We don't need no more stupid dogs in Venezia. I might not be a real cop, but I've got feelings, pal. And you just have them. You talking to me, fruitcake? Cause I don't need a date. Eat missile, punk. This was a good plan, Bentley. Now we can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Thank you. I pride myself on deviousness these days. With her ape guard under fire, there's a 93% chance that Carmelita will arrive and take out the entire Vincenetti gang. Devious. Inspector Fox, I'm glad to see you. This Vincenetti puke is giving me all I can handle. Stand your ground, soldier. We'll take him together. I'm a chicken. Can't take much more.
last long without some additional firepower. On my way, missionary. For mercenaries, you fought with honor and distinction. I'm proud of you. station in three parts. Each is cleverly hidden behind a painting inside one of his legit coffee houses. It's not very subtle, posting a full-time guard in front of a coffee house. Since we destroyed his Ferris wheel, he's gone all out on the security. In fact, he's got all his guards checking up on each other. If we're going to get inside and at the blueprints, we can't raise any suspicion. I'm with you. I'll approach the guard while in disguise and pretend to take the next shift. When the coast is clear, you head inside and swipe the blueprints. With me standing out front, no one will know that something's up. Your disguise could be a side as a power-up. When hailed by my guards, make sure to memorize their passwords and say them back in a timely fashion. Take too long or mess it up, and he'll know you're a phony. Halt! What's Octavio's house password? Transmitting password. Tenor Soprano, Tenor Soprano? Okay, okay. I guess you're the relief shift. Uh, thanks for coming early. I got a big plans for tonight. Carnival, uh, good times, eh? I can't believe that worked. You've got the worst Italian accent I've ever heard. No offense. Head inside and grab the blueprints. No telling how long till another patrol comes by. Ten minutes. <laughs> First coffee house I've ever seen with wall-to-wall -wall laser security. Octavio really is old school if he's using a painting safe. My father used to crack these all the time. The trick here is finding the safe's combination hidden somewhere in the artwork. Might take some searching. But it's sure to be there. Just keep at it. Oh, 
I would need five work. combinations. Still clear up front. I'll meet you at the next coffee shop. Once you take the guard's post, I'll move in. Second verse, same as the first. Wheel password quickly as I expected. Here you go Soprano alto alto soprano, okay. Oh, am I glad you're here mama's making spaghetti tonight, and I'm starving I'm gonna eat like three no four plates of food. I guess you really like a cooking Mamma mia, <laughs> I want to be buried in her sauce. It's a hell Any problems with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah. That's, uh... That's strange. You know, I just can't get it out of my head. Have you ever had pasta sauce that tasty? I don't want to distract you or anything, but I just don't think I've ever had cooking that good. Are we like missing out on a whole universe of flavors here? Nine, six, eight. Ah, oh. reversed. there partner hello of course this could hit me You know, maybe there's a good Italian restaurant around here. Enough with the sauce! Keep the sauce. your focus, we're on a job here! Thugs everywhere, death around every corner! You're right, we got one more coffee house to hit, then we're done. Yes, now you're talking sense! And then, we eat. Hello. You! <coughs> What's Octavio's house password? Here's the password, Sly. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano? Yep. I keep forgetting I pushed the right button. You there! What's the Carnivale password? Uh, yep, yeah, here it is. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Sorry about that. I have one more coffee house. Holt, tell me the daytime password. Kid stuff, here it is. Alto, alto, bass, bass. Okay. 
I like the best white text. Ah, uh, no, eight, not him, not him. You there? What was last night's password? Transmitting password. Alto, tenor, tenor, alto. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, you know the code. Uh, but what's my nickname? <laughs> There's only one Tony B on the payroll, and I'm famous in the family. I'm a new, uh, just got called in from Roma. They know me in Rome. I'm practically the mayor of organized crime in Rome. You telling me you never heard my nickname, Dave? Uh, my cell phones are going off. I should take this call. It could be the boss. Yeah, okay. Talk to some of the other guards in the area and see if any of them know Tony B's nickname. Hey you. Hey you. Vacuum room password. Sending password now. Soprano, soprano, bass, bass. Okay. Okay, you're legit. Hey, you know Tony B's nickname? Tony B. That cannoli. He's a what's it called? A ego maniac. I don't know nothing about him. Don't want to know. Halt! Give me the cafe password. Easy one. Here you go. Bass, 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 soprano? Yep. Yep. That's the password. Sometimes I forget them, you know. You and me are both, pal. Hey, uh, you know what the Tony B's a nickname is? <laughs> yeah, that fathead likes to call himself Tony the Killer B. What an idiot. I couldn't agree more. Nice job getting the nickname. You're really fitting in with these mobsters, Sly. Maybe you should switch teams. Get an apartment with the Killer B. Forget it, Bentley. You! Ferris wheel password! Quickly! Got it! Here it is! Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Sorry about that. So, big shot, what's my nickname? Oh, come on! Everyone's a heard of Tony the Killer B. You're the terror of every player grounder from here at Sicily. Ha ha ha! Real funny. Least I'm not on guard duty during Carnival. Who's got the last laugh now, tougher guy? <laughs> Me, that's who. I crazy disagree. Don't take too long. If that guy comes back to chat, I'm out of here. Real skill with this art decryption, Bentley. It always takes me like 20 minutes to figure those things out. You're just flying through them. One on three. hide out back in the safe house. That alarm is attracting all kinds of guards. Agreed. We've got the blueprints to the tar vacuum. Our work here is done. We gotta get out of here. Just too many of them. Ah, oh, 
the safety of the safe house. taken over this Carnival fireworks stand as a base of operations for our next job. 
We need to take out the side and balloons advertising Octavio's big comeback opera recital. I hear ya. If no one shows up for him to extort with his building sinking scheme, then why would he bother with the demonstration? Excavating all that tar seems like a big operation. You'd think he'd hold off until he had an audience. Exactly. Now, I've cobbled together a few explosives powerful enough to destroy the anchors to those balloons. Unfortunately, I'm a little short on fuses. Then, I'll be quick. Blaze the dynamite when you get near the anchor, or kaboom! Raccoon parts everywhere! Not bad, not bad. One less ad polluting the Venetian skyline. A uh, dead uh, bat. Head on back to the fireworks stand. I've got another stick of TNT ready, and the wind's blowing in the right direction for stage two of our assault. That explosive had some kick. It was a child compared to this ferocious beast. Don't dilly-dally with this one. It's got a longer fuse, but you've got farther to run. Ferocious beast? Run, Sly, run! Fear the beast! from your cage should dislodge the balloon. My boy on the inner side picked up those pictures of me you sent to the cops. Nice a try, but I own this a town. Put my friend down, or I'm gonna knock out all of your teeth, one at a time, and make you eat them. Hoo-hoo-hoo! That's the toughest talker you got! You're pathetic! 
Back in my day, we had enforcers that would make people pee their pants just as soon as a look at them. Believe me, old timer, I don't make idle threats. Oh, I know all about you and your crack little gang. You ain't nothing without these little guys' brains. So, I figure I'll just scoop them out real slow <laughs> and use them to fertilize my tomato plants. I'm allergic to tomatoes. Slide! Shock on! Barrier engage! Oops. Activate! Let go of me, you geriatric fiend! Ah, that's gonna hold still! Turn it on! Get you for this! You won't get nothing but a grave, pal! Sly, hurry it up! Pipe it down, lunch meat! Crank it up! You want this front? Take him! I won't forget about this. You guys are dead! You okay, Bentley? I'm fine. My ego's bruised, but it'll heal. I said you were looking for me? We need your help to destroy some tar drums. I'm done with all that. I found a new path. It's full of peacefulness. Come on, what happened to the Murray? The guy who'd get into a fist fight with ten thugs wearing nothing but a towel. The guy who used to punch first and not bother asking questions later. Where's that guy? Where's my old friend? I, I'm sorry, Ben. I tried to save you, but I just wasn't strong enough. Get over it, Murray. I don't blame you and never have. The only thing I feel bad about is losing my pal. Look, I want to help you. You're like my second best friend. It's just that I promised I'd stay here and peacefully meditate till the black water ran pure. Well, what if you could help us peacefully? You wouldn't have to punch anyone. I'm in. Keep it peaceful, and I'll smash up anything you'd like. As a student of the Australian Dreamtime, I'm sure you've learned of the ball form. Yeah, sure, like my first week. Excellent. Tuck into ball form and clog that vent pipe. The pressure buildup should shoot you skyward. Maintain your ball form and smash into the tar drums around town. Awesome! Yeah, that's totally peaceful! I'm sure my guru wouldn't mind! 
Press the oh, come on. To go into ball form. <laughs> Hit the X button on impact <laughs> to keep your bounces high. I'm projecting some markers to help you find the tar drums. <laughs> I can see I can move my character. You are really getting the hang of hang time. That tar drum didn't know what hit it. I hit a peaceful sense, of course. And the environmentalist will send a thank you card. It's a pleasure to see you back in action. Yeah, well, I haven't forgotten who my friends are. I'm just playing with a different deck. And if you're next time, so goodbye. See you next time.